The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord God, Almighty Father, eternal brightness, you are the creator of all light. Bless this light. Grant that, inflamed and enlightened by the fire of your light, we may see you in eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sprig of thorn. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name is great among the nations, says the Lord. In every place, incense and a pure offering are to be offered uh, to my name, for my name is great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Let my prayer arise before you like incense, and the lifting up of my hands like an evening sacrifice. inflamed with a great love for you through Christ our Lord Amen, Amen.
place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Yes, Lord, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by his horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Abraham gave the sight of Yahweh Yireh. Hence people now say, On the mountain the Lord will see. Again the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars in the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find a blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to salvation of your souls. 
Whoever listens to you listens to me. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Savior himself will intercede before his Father on behalf of the apostles, and all those who through them shall believe in him. He said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that he may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorify you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory I have with you before the world began. I reveal your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them, and they accepted them and truly understand that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours. And everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them. None of them is lost, except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. Now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They, not, they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is true. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in the truth. I pray not only for them, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they may also be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you love me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love of which you love me may be in them, and I in them. All nations of the world will be found in the Savior's church to create one family whose Father is God, whose highest priest and teacher through the Holy Spirit, revealing himself to those whom he chooses and where he wills will be Jesus Christ. The Savior himself tells us, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of the age. Having therefore such assurance from the Savior himself that he is with all the apostles when they are gathered together, not with only one individual apostle. Let us strengthen our faith that it is his will, that the Holy Spirit should reveal himself to his church. Such a revelation takes place not in one person, but rather in the gathering of those who represent the church. Let us also strengthen our faith in the teaching that if our Lord Jesus Christ sent the apostles to the nations, he desired that nations as such should be won over to his church. The Savior loved his nation and requires all nations to profess and lay down their love for him, revealing it as best each nation can.
conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. May the light of Christ's holy gospel illumine your way of life. Keep in deepest respect your holy baptism, which has united you with Jesus Christ, made you a part of his holy church, and brought you into the communion of saints. Observe the commandments of God, that when our Lord returns, you may meet him together with all the saints, and live with him forever.
salvation and ascension. Deliver us, O Lord. Through the coming of the Holy Spirit. Deliver us, O Lord. In the day of judgment. Deliver us, O Lord. We sinners implore you, O God. Hear us, O Lord. That will you spare us. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you pardon us. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you bring us to true penance. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you govern and protect your holy church. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you preserve all in holy orders in holy piety. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you grant peace and true comfort to all Christians. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you confirm and preserve us in your holy service. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you lift our minds to heavenly desires. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you bless all of our benefactors. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you hasten the coming of your kingdom on earth. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you grant eternal rest to the souls of our departed parents, brothers, sisters, relatives, friends, and benefactors. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. That you would accept our petitions. This we ask of you. Hear us, O Lord. Son of God. Hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Forgive us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.